Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to um, do your uh, February, not February, March. We're going to jump into March. Now I know I've been MIA, but uh, I have a life and I have another business that I actually make my livelihood from. So I, this is a peak season for me. So um, I'm really busy. But it'll die down within the next two months, and then I'll be back on a regular schedule, okay? So, thank you for those who have been just faithful, just been keeping with me, you know? Um, so, here we go. Hope that everybody had a really good birthday. Happy birthday to those who, you know, are almost Pisces, right? Um, let's jump right into it. All contact information is below. Um... Yeah. All right. Th uh, yeah. Thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. So let's see what the situation is for Aquarius. What's the situation, Lord God? Thank you for blessing these cards. Blessing the message. What's the situation for Aquarius? And what should Aquarius do in this situation? All right. All right. What should Aquarius do? Whoa. That was like all of the deck. Okay, Aquarius, what's going on? <laughs> a lot, huh? Okay, let's see. A lot of waiting, a lot of anticipation, a lot of things you've done in the past, just waiting for the return here. A lot of uh, three of wands type of energy. I've done the work, I'm waiting for, um, you know, some stability for it to show up in my life, or at least the... the efforts of my labor okay how your partner or the person you're coming to the reading for how what's the situation with them okay and then what's the potential outcome potential outcome for Aquarius my male Aquarius you got two women around you You cut somebody off, but then you you, be, you miss them. You want them back. The woman that you're with or obligated to, you you love them, but you want the other person to. Right. And then under the deck, six of pentacle. Talks about the choice, a choice. Okay, because you're giving to two parties. Uh, it could talk about charity. It could talk about, you know, receiving money for some of you. But a lot of times when this comes out, it's the choice. Um, which party are you going to continue to give to? Who's going to be the main and no more and nothing else? And what is the main? This could be in a career in finance also, okay? All right, so we got that under the deck. What's the situation for Aquarius? We have the Magician, the Nine of Swords, the Nine of Cups. All right, so this is a situation for my Aquarius where they are trying to manifest something that they feel they are without. Um, uh, the Aquarius may feel as if they're without something that gives them um, they're without a wish fulfilled they're without emotional fulfillment they're separated from someone who they feel is wish fulfillment could be an air sign could be water sign you guys you do the sign it could be anybody 
but there is anxiety within this separation either from the Aquarius or the other person someone is trying to manifest um, a complete ending and then the highest level of happiness which would mean that for some of my Aquarius is to end one situation and to jump into the other the other one that you're without right now you are the magician you are some of you being a little sneaky in regards to wanting something or someone else uh, and not letting the current situation know that of course um, giving to two parties who or which one will be the main party that you will give to this could be how someone feels about you okay what should Aquarius do eight of wands the emperor strength card all right some of you can deal with a fire sign nothing but fire here all right so th these are two majors um, in your advice what you should do eight of wands talks about the rapid communication the back and forth sometimes this is communication about the trouble or the jealousy in an in a relationship so this could talk about moving it forward having the strength to gain control over the relationship to move it forward speaking communicating to the emperor in your life, the the man over your life, the the man. This is I think this is for my women Aquarius. You apply it how it is. Um, speaking to this person, having communication with this person. It's going to take strength. Is going to take taming the ego and or this is how somebody feels about you to communicate with you would be to tame the ego the both of you may have spoken about how you'll never talk to each other again and now you're both wishing and hoping that one of you will reach out so now it's about taming the ego so that there can be communication from or or to the man in your life Hmm. Okay, how the other person, whoever you come to this reading, how they feel about the situation. They are the king of pentacles, the king of cups, the nine of pentacles. Okay. How they feel about you is that or how do you feel about the situation is that you're very independent very you know outgoing you enjoy luxury you're classy you're whatever you know stamp they have placed on you it is is very high it's in high regard they feel as if you you're financially stable um you this person feels like it could go either way they're very much in love with you they want to create stability for you and they feel like you have an air of stability when we're talking about the tangible the financial of life you have that about yourself the nine of pentacles it's getting even darker in here let me turn the light on okay um They may also be the 
the party that has two individuals that they're giving to and they have to make a choice. Either way, all these three nines, you guys are not in communication. You are not in a good space. You're not with each other. You're without. There is separation. Um, they feel as if um, you, you're a good catch. You're a really good match for them. What's the outcome here for Aquarius? For some of you, they feel as if you have the means, this might be my male Aquarius, to take care of them. You're, you may be a business owner, do very well in business. This is how they feel about you. Okay. The outcome is the temperance card. Queen of Pentacles. Uh, and the sun. Okay. So there's a two majors here. Um, the one of two of the most spiritual majors a lot of times this is looked at as God um, whoever or whatever you God is for you source energy universe coming in and um, shedding light and positivity radiance over this this uh, situation this union temperance, the, the angel of peace of patience coming in and bringing you two back together. Let's get some clarifiers here. We're already at 12 minutes. Can we clarify the outcome? Temperance, Queen of Pentacles, the sun. Some of you are, are going to reconcile and try to turn this into something that, you know, you both are um, happy with, content with. The Three of Swords. All right. For some of you, it's... um heartbreak it's divorce it's separation it's you having two parties and you're trying to choose who do you want to be with because one or more of these parties is not having it anymore they need a choice to be made they need it made now um so some balance comes in in regards to the choice that needs to be made why are all these cards falling? This is ridiculous. Okay. All right. I, I can't do this. Some of you are choosing to stay stuck. Source, God, whomever wants to heal your heart. So that you can move forward. Five of Wands. There is gossip. There is contention. There is competition. There is frustration within a established union. Job. Marriage. Family. Within something that's established. And uh, corporate. Yeah, a family dynamic. So for some of you, the outcome is making a decision or deciding to divorce, separate from a marriage, a long-standing union to find happiness and or you're leaving a family. One more card, okay? Yeah, and starting over, the full. Zero. Ten. Zero. Zero. 
Is this Aquarius or is this someone else? It's just the other person. Is this Aquarius? Seven of Swords. It's, it's definitely someone sneaking and doing this. Uh, devising a plan of action in secret. Sneaking away from a union. Uh, what was a successful relationship. Could be Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Knight of Cups. Because they want to offer love. Emotional exchange. To something or someone else. Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This could be you Aquarius. This could be someone else. Okay, um, let's go ahead and close this out. So Aquarius, the situation is that, uh, is this Aquarius, is someone is like really um, in high anxiety about getting what they've hoped and wished for. Is this Aquarius? It looks like it could be. Uh, someone's hoping and wishing for the opportunity to speak with you. They're trying to have enough strength to come towards you. Lay down the ego. Three of Swords. King of Cups. Yeah. I mean, Three of Cups. King of Cups. This could be a water sign. With the King of Cups twice. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone wants into. Their wish would be to reconcile, to speak with you, to engage with you, because they they love you. Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. They see you as the quintessential ideal person for them. You've done everything you you need to do. You check every box on their list. They may have chosen someone else in the past. Now it's it's about um, them trying to come out of that situation. For I'm here for some of you. They don't know if they should come out of it because they don't know how you feel. Because you aren't communicating. Not to say that you should. But you aren't. You may have blocked this person or blocked them out um, because it was too heavy to deal with them. And within that blocking of energy and blocking them out, uh, this made this person really think more, more about you. They're going through some type of spiritual awakening, awareness of what it is you really mean to them, for them in their lives. Let's see what the situation is. Family changes. Yes. Someone's moving in out of a home. Exiting a home. Uh, there could be someone coming into a home. A, a birth of a home. A new home. Uh, family changes constitute so many different things. Children going back to school. Coming from school to come back home. Someone moving in with you. Someone moving out. You are stronger than you know. Religion, spirituality, and support. Adult children. And we just spoke about I just spoke about that. Um, no pages here for us. But that's why I said no pages here. No communication. The advice is for someone, either you or the other person, to communicate. Um, eight of Wands. Let's see who that should be. Just to be nosy. Eight of Wands. Can you clarify the Eight of Wands for Aquarius? Who should communicate? Should Aquarius communicate with the other person? Or will the other person communicate with Aquarius? Thank you, Heavenly Father, for messages. Okay. Six of Swords. Might be you. Might be you, Aquarius, that needs to communicate. Six of Spades. Um making small achievements over your burdens uh of course choosing to come out of conflict into a more peaceful and placid place 
ten of swords. That would be the ten. Four and four and six is ten. Allowing an ending to happen. For I feel like this is for my male Aquarius too. You need to communicate about the trouble with it or jealousy in this relationship. Um, there is um okay for my female queries you might need to communicate also for, yeah wow and then we have the emperor who govern who is the four in order to have stability maintain it you need to communicate you feel what you feel how you felt when this person did whatever so that you can have a change of journey and a change of home three of of hearts yeah um regret not saying things this is what I'm saying. you need to communicate you regret not saying something maybe about a cheating spouse could be a water sign or someone who is unfaithful, someone who made promises just to break them. Could be the king of wands or someone you had a family with or someone who already had a family. Maybe you found that out. Um, or someone wants to communicate with you about how they feel. This could go either way, guys. Um... The advice is though to communicate, right? Or allow communication. Let's get some angel answers in here and close this out. Right. Recovery. And the fourth space talks about recovery, healing, trust within the next few weeks reconsider forgiveness mm, abundance wow this is um this is pretty heavy for Aquarius reconsider forgiveness reconsider and forgiveness The deck is upside down. Sorry, guys. Seven of air. Reconsider forgiveness for maybe someone's treacherous ways. Someone who, who's a liar, sneak, a thief. Who was out to get only what they could get out of a situation. Ten of water. Maybe within in regards to a family dynamic a family unit um, when you forgive you you'll find the ultimate level of happiness you'll find abundance here it's waiting for you if you can release and let go and forgive the empress while wow, what you are creating or what yeah what you have created is here for you you are the empress you sit on a throne that you made you are the self-made woman king of water this is the third time we've got the king of water king of cups in three different decks the world card at the bottom of the deck this person wants forgiveness they want to spill the beans with you they want to be truthful they want you to reconsider they want forgiveness why i don't know maybe it's because you you walked away um Am I going to do an extended? No. I'm, I'm not going to do extended, right? But extended is 175, right? So, if you feel like this reading resonated for you, uh, with you in your situation, then I will do um, a $5 one question. So, think of that one question that could be yes or no. Is this person going to communicate with me? I can pull a few cards for you tell you yes or no. 
Um, should I communicate with this person? Should I allow them back? Have they changed? Questions of those natures. Yes or no. Five dollars. Okay. Because I'm not doing. Ex I cannot do extended for 12 signs. It's just not going to work. Um, okay. So this is. This is where you are. I mean, it's, everything is like the same message over and over again. Seven of Swords. Um, Seven of Swords. Ten of Water. Someone wants to communicate with you about how happy you make them. They, they feel like they chose wrongly. They chose the wrong person. They chose the wrong situation. And now they're having problems in an existing marriage maybe a second marriage second relationship doesn't have to be but there there are problems because um there could even be money issues where they feel like they, they put out more than the other they give more um let's go so yeah five dollar question can't beat that with a stick right just a few extra dollars than the um extended reading all right so Aquarius I'm wishing you the best I'm praying for you pray for me as well I'm going to leave you with I found this um, this scripture I think it's pretty good for all of us right um, when wisdom enters into thine heart and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul discretion shall preserve thee understanding shall keep thee so when you find that you know um, wisdom and knowledge sits well with you to learn something new that takes you to a higher consciousness the higher height um, it, and, and it it fills your soul is pleasant with you then discretion shall preserve you understanding shall keep you so now you're able to have that discretion or discernment in a sense. Um, understanding, it, uh, it keeps you. I understand because I allow wisdom and knowledge to rest easy with me. It's just about the, the thirst for knowledge and wanting to learn more. How it will put you in a different place when you are faced with different levels and devils um, discretion it, it'll preserve you you know you'll know what is and what isn't um, and because of that it, 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 you will stay preserved you won't you won't spoil or, or someone won't spoil you or um, devour you in a sense um, understanding is with you you understand on a higher consciousness because you've gained the wisdom and the knowledge to do so so i think this is really good that's private proverbs 2 10 through 11 okay proverbs 2 10 through 11 in the, the holy bible okay um i read them all so some of it might come from the, the quran or whatever so anyway um there you are um Somebody's dying to communicate with you, um, Aquarius, and or you're dying to commun communicate with them, or you're taming yourself in, in, in regards to. Anyhow, um, $5 question, okay? It's, it'll be on the website, and a link will be below. $5 question. Make it a yes or no question. I don't need three-part questions. Your money will be refunded. I don't have time for that, okay? All right, thank you, guys. Take care. Many blessings.